hello and welcome back today we've got another 500 pounds worth of two pound coins to have a hunt through looking for the commemorative ones the ones are more than face value but ideally we're after the one that we're still looking for we're getting so so close to finishing this book it is commonwealth games wales that we're still looking for uh, we've got all the other ones including the full flag navy centenary so just that one more to go and then we will have be starting a brand new book which is kind of exciting so without further ado let's get into this bag right then let's get into the first bag oh what a start we've got the great fire of london we're seeing more and more of these in the navy centenaries i think where a whole bunch of them have been circulated some weird sort of scuff marks on there. Is that scuff marks? Is that part of the design? No, it's part of the design. That's catching in a weird light. But lovely. Lovely condition. Definitely a keeper. To be fair, I'd be interested to see what sort of prices of those are doing at the moment. Um, with a load of them being coming into circulation recently, along with the Navy Centenaries, makes me wonder about the desirability of them now, but. There we go, That's a they're both beautiful coins, coins that I love to find. There we go, there's a Navy Centenary. A coin I've always been very, very lucky with, even when they have felt like they were scarcer. But very, very nice, adding to my armada of Navy Centenaries. Lovely stuff. It does make me wonder how long it'll be until they start becoming more common. There we go. <laughs> Unbelievable luck today. A great fire of London again. Woohoo! And then we have Brunel's Arches or the Achievements of Paddington Station, whatever you'd like to call it. That's a common one. I don't know, it feels like we're on a bit of a boom on the Great Fire of London's and Navy Centenaries. It makes me wonder when they're going to get back to being less common. And we'll miss finding them as often as we do at the moment. Well, we've got Diddly in that one. What we're doing now is just, oh, hang about. Oh, I see something at the start of this bag, we won't. Look at that, full flag error. What a stunner. So you can see, we'll do it side by side. So the one on the right has no flag error. The one on the left has the full flag error. There is one in between. It's a little bit, it's just a little bit of a bump rather than a pronounced flag like the one on the left. To find a full flag error though, is exceptional. That's two navies and a great fire of London. Which is amazing stuff. Right. We're doing edge hunts on this one, so for those unaware, um, there's an inscription on the edge of all two pound coins, which is different for the different designs. So it looks like we've got a couple of options here. So there's a second from the top. Deoxyribonucleic acid has to be the double D, uh, the DNA double helix. There we go, a very cool design, but it is a common one. Next up, third one down, that's gotta be something again, right? Uh, uh, sure Shield of Britain will be a Navy centenary with another full flag error, holy Toledo. Two full flag errors is astounding. And do we have anything else? Oh, what's that down the bottom? In victory, magnanim magnanim magnanimity. You try saying it, magnanimity. <laughs> uh, peace. Goodwill will be um, the VE Day anniversary with St Paul's. The magnanimity coins we call it on the live stream is a very, very common one. But I didn't spot anything else. Oh dear. Well, that is pretty gross. Worn and battered. And it's the first time recording after getting my Hyliosaurus 50p, which is really exciting. Uh, my favourite 
by um, oh there we go abolition of the slave trade another very common one um, but no Hylosaurus my favourite of the triple dinosaur set I think the colours on it especially the colour one was absolutely stunning woohoo there we go another one wow we are getting some seriously good luck today so this is the London Underground Train and there's the roundel as well and on the edge inscription of this one is it the tube map there we go it looks like the tube map on the roundel it says please mind the gap or mind the gap very cool and once again over face value we're doing really well and over, over face value fine all right then so yeah very impressed with the Hylosaurus excited to see if they end up doing more next year um, we did get some news about tourist attractions in Wales maybe not opening up very swiftly it could be some time before the Boral Mint experience opens up again which is a shame but understand we're given current circumstances and given what the tour entails socially distancing on that would be kind of tricky so, so it's gonna be a bit longer till we'll get to go down again we've got Lord Kitchener there another very common one But I think the next time when the Royal Mint does open up again, I think it's going to be exciting to see how many people go down. I know I am uh, desperate to get down and, and see everyone again and get a strike your own and spend the day there. We've got a very shiny 2015 technologies there. And you've got the Queen with the necklace on it. So some people do collect this coin. I don't think it's scarce enough. Um, but each to their own with their collecting. I collect things that other people won't, uh, aren't interested in collecting. I just don't keep the cream of the necklace. Oh, there we go. Another Great Fire of London. Awesome. Be coin that would look stunning in silver proof. It's on my list. It's on my list. No more on that bag, though. Right, let's see what luck we can get in this bag. Is it going to be a case of the diddlies, unfortunately? It looks like so. Yep, been a case of the diddlies in that bag. I don't know, if you wonder if there's going to be any more dinosaur 50p's next year. I think they were very popular this year. So I think we can ex anticipate and expect to see more next year. We've got Abolition of the Slave Trade again. But no, if you know any dinosaurs, uh, that were discovered in the UK, a dinosaur fossil was discovered in the UK. Um, let me down. Let me know down in the comments. We'll see if we can guess <laughs> what what dinosaur coins could potentially be coming our way next year. Because that'd be awesome. Um, ooh, we've got another chance here. There's another Navy Centenary. Awesome. That's two Navy Centenaries, two full flag errors. Very cool. And also, I also wonder with those with the Great Five Londons and the Navy Centenaries. So I've been very lucky in finding lots of them recently and I know a couple of other coin tubers as well have it makes me wonder is this a is this a regional thing whereby uh, we're getting loads of them down south um, rather than those up north Ooh, look at the condition of that so it's a bit like the um, what was I going to say the Shakespeare comedies they came out they, they came out in force up in the north and in Scotland it makes me wonder if the uh, navies and, and Great Fire London, is that a southern regional thing? Who knows? Now, in the 2015 two pound coins, you got the chance to find the IRB as well, which is very cool. But that is a lovely, lovely coin, and that is in stellar condition as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We've got ourselves a London Underground train again. Unbelievable stuff today. We really hit the jackpot on these two pound coins. The other thing I keep people keep telling me about is the mule on the Kitchener. I think it's where it doesn't say two pounds here. I think the, I will double check just in case if that's the mule and I've just said <laughs> this isn't the mule. But no, other than the Navy Centenary, there aren't really any, any errors that I look for on the two pound coins. I know there are some like cud errors and cud marks on coins, but I don't really look for them. Uh, abolition the slave trade again you can find the NIFC version the one that was not intended for circulation it's got a smooth finish on the inner part and initials just to the right hand side there but that 
It's the circulating design. I've never found an NIFC £2 coin. I think that'd be awesome to do though. We found a fair few 50p's over the time I've been making videos. We've got Charles Dickens there, so we'll add that to the counter. We got, have got some counters tracking the common ones and also the Commonwealth Games as well. It's a bit of fun just to see how many we find over the course of filling a book. With any luck, we'll be finishing this book off soon. We'll be able to start a new book and start the counters all over again with different coins on them. Maybe we'll put into the Navy Centenary in a, a, a counter or a tracker. But who knows, we'll be finished the book before the new £2 coin, or the next £2 coin, goes into circulation. Because I, uh, well, I've said it a bazillion times now, releasing all these navies and um, Great Fire of Londons, I imagine is the last of the backlog of £2 coins that haven't been uh, sent out of the cash centres. So clearing that backlog leaves room for new ones to come in. And I think it's exciting times. I'd be a bit gutted if they end up filling the backlog with a huge mintage of one design. I've got my fingers crossed that maybe we'll get a couple of different designs if we can, just, it can be split across the um, the VE Day, the new VE Day coin and maybe a couple of other designs that the Britannia included. Because the variety that makes the hunt so exciting. Oh, there we go, adding variety. We've got Shakespeare's Tragedies there. One of a three part set, Tragedies, Histories and Comedies. Very nice. Comedy is the one we struggled to find on the channel, but to be fair, we found less and less Shakespeare's in recent times. No, what a hunt we're having so far. We've still got five bags or so to get through. We've got another abolition of the slave trade. Popular coin today. And there is another Charles Dickens. Nothing else in that bag. Oop. Can't get into it. This bag's idiot proof. Okay. Another great five London. Wowee. I just love the design on it. It's just superb, isn't it? A really, really beautiful coin. A coin that would look stunning as a strike your own. <laughs> Has to be said. Right, three bags to go. But I'm excited to see what's going to be released later in the year. There's still time for maybe an Alphabet 10 piece set, although I think time is waning on that that idea. It'd be a shame to not have a 2020 reissue of the set. We've had, of course, we had it in 2018, 2019. I think we we're all ex anticipating it coming out in 2020, but. It doesn't look like it, but like I said, there's still time of the year. But there's no news on Paddington's as well, whether we'll get some more Paddington's this year. Snowman, um, Wallace and Gromit, who knows? Well, all of a sudden we find ourselves onto the last bag. So for those of you that watch this find the video, you might be interested to know I have a Discord server. You can click the link down in the description to come and join it. Alternatively, because you do have to be over 13 to be on Discord, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. There's also the peer box you can write into too, and everything sent to the peer box uh, gets it, uh, get, makes its way into a peer box video. We've got Brunel's portrait there, another very, very common one. So we didn't find anything new for the book, but we found a whole heap of awesome finds. Spread these out a little bit. Unbelievable stuff, right? <laughs> more more um, of the overface value than the underface value. Star finds have got to be those two full flag Navy Centenaries. Aren't they something else? Absolutely smashing. Well, as ever, all that leaves me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.